workout for the week, it's going to be a simple Tabata workout. You don't have to do this with a mask on, okay? If you are just doing this at home, I highly suggest that you do this without the mask on. But for today, I'll be using my mask uh, to check if working out with a mask, teaching a class with a mask on would be viable. So I'll be using my Reebok face cover, it's over here. And I have placed the filters. Um, I'll place additional filters on it and I'll be testing I'll be testing this mask for this workout. Remember you don't have to use a mask while working out at home but if ever when we return to the gyms and classes are going to be allowed again I will have to wear a mask for at least one of the gyms that I'll be teaching at. Okay so it will really depend on the gym that I will be teaching at if I have to wear a mask or not. But I'll be testing it now for my Tabata workout. So I'm checking my I'm checking my oxygenation now prior to the workout. Um, my oxygenation is currently at 99. Okay. And then my heart rate, hmm, it's high at 94, 95. Well, I was doing a run earlier, so <laughs> I was doing a run earlier, so my heart rate is still high from the run. Okay, so we'll be doing our workout soon. I'll be doing the easy options first. Version okay, first. Fine. Okay, for the first round, I'm showing you the easy version. Just the air squat, half squat. Okay, on the side, looks just like this. Later on, for round two, you could go with lower with the squats. Yes. Okay. Afterwards, we're going to do your side bend. The easiest option will be this. Just, just the side bend and then the middle. Just off to one side. Okay? This is the easy version. The standard version will be having your hands a bit higher. And we'll be doing your side bend this way. Yes. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll work your quadratus from bottom. So off to the side and then be upright. This is the easiest version. Harder version will be this. Yes. Okay, next exercise. The easiest version will be the wall push up. Okay, you use the wall and you can do your push up against the wall. Or if you want, you could go down on the floor on your knees and you'd be doing your push ups on the floor. Yes. Okay. Next exercise, we're going to do the plank. Okay, easy version would be on. knees on the floor while you do your plank. Standard version would be this. Okay. Yes. So after the floor exercises, we're going to stand again. And then, one foot forward, one foot back. We're going to do your torso twist. Use your elbow as a focus. So, rotate through your torso. Okay. Use your elbow to help you focus. So this is a torso rotation exercise. One foot forward and one foot back. Yes. Okay. We switch sides for exercise seven. One foot forward, one foot back. So we rotate at your torso. This is essentially a torso rotation exercise. Okay, you use your elbow as your focus tool. Yes. 
Okay, last exercise. A bit of cardio. We're going to jog in place. Okay, so we jog. round one. We have one minute rest. I'll be checking my oxygenation and heart rate while we recover. So that was round one, the easy round. Okay. So right now my heart rate is 128 beats per minute. My oxygenation is still at 99. Okay, so I was doing the easy version of the exercise um, for the first round. In about 20 seconds, we'll start round two and I'll be doing the standard version of the exercises. Okay, so, so far, it's at 129 beats per minute and 99 oxygenation. So far, I can still breathe. I can still talk. Okay, for round two, okay, I'll be doing deeper squats. Earlier for round one, I was just doing half squats. Okay, I'll do this a little bit harder. You can see from the back, it looks like this. Okay. Then standing side bend. The balance challenge okay, is in lifting the leg off to the side. Okay. So side bend. We get to work our quadratus lumborum, those muscles over at our deep core. Okay. So that's our second exercise for the second round. Third exercise. Same move on the other side. I'll do this okay, like fine. facing sideways so that you could see that the knee is really going to the side instead of going to the front. So yeah. okay. So fourth exercise, you could do the push-ups on the wall or on the floor you could okay, also fine. do this with your knees on the floor or you could also do this with your knees off the floor yes okay next exercise we'll be doing the plank So I'm just holding this for 20 seconds. Yes. Breathing the whole time. Okay. So standing torso twist, one foot forward, one okay, foot fine. back. Okay. Here date. Okay, from the side it looks like this. Yes. This. You switch sides. So just remember it's a torso rotation. Yes. Okay, then our last exercise, we jog in place or you could jog a bit faster in place. 
I'm trying to do this a bit faster than round one. Okay. So that's round two. With our eight exercises, we have 15 more seconds to recover. Yeah. So checking my oxygenation now and my heart rate. Okay. So my heart rate is 155 beats per minute. Oxygenation has gone down to 93. Okay, that could be somehow expected. Okay. But the oxygenation has gone up to 95. Okay, so I can still breathe. <laughs> okay, I'd be worried if it's really below. <laughs> so it goes up during recovery. Started at 93, went to 97. Okay. Okay. So this is where we go really fast. Okay, so this is round three. I'm going fast with my half squats or I could go deep squats fast. Yeah. Okay. And then side bends. I'll be doing this fast. Remember you could all do the easy options if you want. Uh, this way, fast, or this way, fast. Okay. Side bend on the other side. Actually, fine. I really feel work here. <laughs> it's round three. Yeah. Okay. And on the floor, push-ups. Or you could do the wall push-ups if you want. Okay, fine. You could start out easy. Or you could do it the harder way. Standing, we'll do our torso twist. Doesn't matter which side we start with, we switch anyway. Okay, fine. So I'm doing this fast. Okay, last exercise. Instead of jogging in place, we sprint in place. So go for speed for this one. Okay, Last 10 seconds. Yeah. 
Okay. So you have one minute rest. During that one minute, I'll be checking my heart rate. Okay. Heart rate. I'll be checking my oxygenation too. Okay. So oxygenation is at the 93. The heart rate has gone up to 160. Okay. The oxygenation is at 93 right now. It goes up 94. Okay. 95. My heart rate goes down. Okay. So about 10 more seconds. About 10 more seconds and then I'll start round four. Our last round. So for round four, you don't have to go as fast as round three. Just do the best that you can with any exercise option for that 20 seconds. Okay. Yes. Okay. Standing side bend. I'll start on this side. Exercise. If this is already too hard, you can do it this way, one side at a time. You still get to work your quadratus lumborum this way. Okay. Okay, on the floor or against the wall for your push ups. Okay. So I'm doing the easier option on my knees, but if you want, you do it this way. Okay. We shall be doing our plank. Okay. Okay. Then we stand up, standing torso twist. On the front, it looks like this. If you want the back view, it goes this way. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Okay, on the side. Okay. I have done a run prior with the mask on and now doing hit with the mask on. I'll admit that it's the it's different. It's a bit harder to breathe, but we can still breathe. Okay, so last exercise. We're going to do a sprint. Alright. I thought I'd just go past this is the last round. And three, two, one. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end of our workout. So I'll take that minute. 
Okay. Recovery. My heart rate is 167. Surprisingly, my oxygenation is 167 beats per minute. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> my oxygenation is 99. <laughs> my heart rate is at 154.98. Okay. Okay. After resting, my heart rate is still at 135 beats per minute. Okay, 133 it goes down quite fast. 121 now. Goes down. Okay, so let's do a quick stretch to bring our heart rate down a bit. Okay, and to help us recover from the workout a bit faster. So one leg forward, one leg back. And we stretch. A very efficient stretch. We switch sides. From the front it looks like this. Both heels will be on the ground. And then we get to stretch. Okay, so also stretch the calves. Okay, so we'll be Facing sideways, and we'll be stretching our chest. Okay. And then we'll twist. Stretch our chest. On the side, it looks like this. Make sure your hips face front and then you just try to twist. And then chicken wing stretch. be doing our forward fold so pinch your hips backward so stretch those hamstrings you'd like to have your upper body parallel to the ground okay then we get to stretch our quadriceps if you need to hold on to something it's fine so working out with a mask is admittedly hard, <laughs> but the oxygenation doesn't go down too low, okay? And it recover, and our oxygenation recovers the man fairly quickly. I mean, within a minute, it goes down, it goes back up to acceptable levels. So as you try to breathe properly, even with a mask on. <laughs> So, and roll your shoulders back. Just stretch your chest a bit more. We've been doing a lot of push ups. <laughs> okay, so, really tough those push ups. Okay, so we're done with the workout. I'll check my heart rate and oxygenation. Okay. Heart rate is down to like 122. Oxygenation is at 99. Heart rate is 121. I'll just sit down a bit on the ball, on uh, my exercise ball, for about a minute. Okay, so I'll just rest. I'll just rest here and I'll see just how I fast I just how low my heart rate could go while resting. I won't be taking the mask the whole time. Okay, so. Just resting for a minute. Okay, so my heart rate is now down to 97 beats per minute. 
and oxygenation is also at 97 or 98. Yeah, my heart rate is continuously going down. 90 beats per minute. 98 oxygenation. This is placed around 98, 99 with the mask on. Okay, so my heart rate is continuously going down after resting a bit after the workout. So after today's workout, um, the whole time with the mask on, um, it's feasible to work out with the mask on. Uh, admittedly, it could be harder to breathe, but it's feasible. Uh, it's not gonna, but of course, better consult a fitness professional about it. So this is the mask that I use, my Reebok mask with the filter inside. So there you go, with the filter. So thank you for joining for this week's workout. Uh, I tested uh, if using a mask for for an indoor class. Okay, for an indoor class would be feasible. But so far for me as an instructor, I think I'll be able to teach um, high intensity class, relatively high intensity class. You've seen it over at my heart rate and my at the heart rate over at the checks. It's just a half hour class. Okay, so I think I could teach a half hour class. Uh, with a mask on, a high intensity class with a mask on. Next time maybe I'll try to teach, <laughs> I'll try to teach for, uh, uh, one of my dance format classes uh, with a mask on. Maybe next time, maybe an actual class at the gym. Okay, so thank you for joining me for this week's workout.